Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back for another episode of Hearthstone, starting another recording session. And before we start, let me ask you to turn off or whitelist me any ad blockers, help me make a career. Um, so we have three quests to do. Now we have to get two wins with either Druid or Hunter, two wins with either uh, Mage or Hunter, and two wins with either Priest or Warlock. So normally, if that would be we're looking for a Hunter Arena run. <laughs> but we don't have that. There's Druid, there is Warlock. We could certainly do that. But we actually aren't gonna do a re this arena run. And the reason why is this is the first episode I'm recording uh, in which we've been given confirmed information from Blizzard that they are going to come out with Black Rock Mountain as a new adventure and it's right on the front thing so to pair along with Nexramus hopefully a lot better than Nexramus there is going to be a Black Rock Mountain adventure and unless it is a mistake they are saying that that is going to be like five wings I think and for those five wings it's going to be I think they said twenty dollars or seven hundred gold per wing so seven times five is three thousand five hundred um, so we are in a bit of a trouble aren't we? Yeah. Oh yes, that would be fine if it was 3,500, but I forgot to tell you the other part. It's coming out in April, April 1st. I'm almost suspecting this might be an April Fool's Day joke, but um, is that's April 1st or is less than a month from now from when I'm recording and I will certainly what I'll have done is you'll probably already have seen the Black Rock episodes because I'll release them early er, and push back these episodes so I'll put things out of order but because of that in my time I have to now somehow get 3,500 gold when I really wasn't playing for that. Have we spent 3,500 gold? Probably. Have we done the arena uh, 30 times? Probably. I mean if we have 66 wins that probably indicates we've done the arena six, 60 times. And so we're, we're not doing arena runs anymore is, is all that wraps up to. We've got to go get as much gold as possible. Um, so let's start off with uh, Hunter. Hunter runs is all we're going to do today because I still want to play efficiently. I'm in a very odd situation now. Um, I need the gold and the only real source of gold <laughs> is to win at the arena much better than I can. Or grind it out and play ranked games and win three ranked games to get 10 gold. If I have to, if I had to get 3,500 gold or just 3,000 more in my case, uh, by 10 gold increments you're talking uh, 
Alexa versus 300, Jaina. 900 victory. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I could pull that off. So I'm, I'm really in a bind. <laughs> Am I not? Every three days I get about 120 gold. That. So if I get 120 gold. Job done. Let's see. Because the lo lowest three quests are going to be 40. 120 gold. Uh, 240 gold each week. Yeah, as long as we work and we have a month, we since we have a month's worth of, um, of time to prepare, we should be close. Well played. Only, yeah, we should make it. Because 120 for three days and another 120 is 240 a week. Four weeks would put us at 240. 480, 480, 480 is 960, and oh, by the way, that we would have won, had to won three games to get a lot of those done, too, so. We're almost guaranteed as long as we stop doing that. So we shouldn't have a problem. That, I'm glad I did the numbers there. I'm really glad I did the numbers there. <laughs> to do it, to figure it out. Uh... And on that thought now, as I've done the numbers and figured it out, and it, since they gave us a month in advance worth of information, then I think we'll definitely go back to our, uh, one arena run every week after this, just because. Well played. Um, just because it gets us those cars, just because it, um, it seems like it will work. I was kind of feeling like after we did it, maybe we should build up some more. Um, which, I suppose that is a long-term goal, is in the next six months after Black Rock, we probably do want to, would like to figure out how to. Um, to have at least 3,500 gold extra. And we can do that, definitely. Just stop spending it on cards and such. But I really don't want to stop spending it on cards. I want to spend it all on cards. Job done. Um. As far as looking at what Blackrock Mountain does, I, it looks fine to me. Uh, I've only seen just a few bits of details about it, so it's not like I've seen all the cards or played with all the cards. I, I'll just have to take a wait and see attitude on them, really. Job done. Uh, I am just crossing my fingers that they learned their lesson on next Ramos that we get a big pile of cards that we can use in ranked play and not just a bunch of cards that are only in the adventure pack. It's supposed to be dragonish creatures. It's like <laughs> believe what what it, the theme is job done so um <clears throat> so it's it's going to be a new creature's type of dragons which is fun um so it, at the very least that will probably update a bunch of our cards uh, if we have the dragon already and Existence in the game, which I'm sure I'm certainly do. Um, 
I assume that they will be oh overpowered, my but have some body. some hindrance to them, as that's so it's still balanced. Job's done. Gonna be Black Rock Mountain's gonna be pretty similar to <laughs> to Next Ramus in its style. That they they mentioned there will be heroics levels, which indicates if there's gonna be heroic levels, that means there's gonna be. Uh. Um, Normal levels too, and maybe hopefully they're a little bit more puzzly. Um, Job's done. Thank you. Darn it. That's so. And let's see what's the other thing. And then character class. Uh, levels I assume will also be there, so I don't think they're gonna really deviate from the the way it's set up already. Adjacent minions can't Thank be targeted you. by spells or hero powers, but they can be targeted by minions. Interesting. Job done. Terrible time for a flame strike. Minions so, serves. less so crazy, less so difficult. Modes. Um, less cra crazy, unbalanced cards that can't be added to the deck is the problem. Are they gonna come out with a pack of Black Rock, Rock Mountain cards? I don't think so, but maybe if, if it became something like that, but the Avengers also come out with a new pack, that might be an interesting way to go about it. doesn't do that, if it doesn't come out with a pack, then I'm hoping that there are a good amount of cards that are given to us through the adventure. us nothing. It's exactly what we don't want. This, again, I've complained about it before, but the inherent problem of Hearthstone is when you lose, you just waste your time. More so Rexa than almost than most games. You asked it's for it. not gaining skill that much because it's, it's usually not 100% your fault that you lost, it's, it's just the cards and the randomness of it.
I hope they do a, a free wing on the <laughs> like they did in the next Ramus. They didn't mention anything like Job that, done. but a fair lob against them might be. It's a little money grabbing, but but this whole game is just a free to play type money grabbing thing if you let it be that. That's what it's, it's tendency is. It's tendency is that it is going to be when I was free to play. Uh, pay us money type deals. Handle it! And you have to work really hard like I Job do. Done. And play a lot and win a lot to get away from that. Hit it very hard. Job done. It's, I think it's a little too early for me to be recording <laughs> if we really admit it. And I feel like I'm sounding a little nasally, mostly just whiny. <laughs> I have been through either stu dumb luck or or whatever waking up earlier and getting somewhat more of a regular sleep pattern of which is a little nice uh, I don't want to as I'm getting older I don't want to fall into habits of staying up all night playing video games. Uh, stay up too late, you sound, you sound silly headed as I guess I'd call it. Because you, you can't think straight, you wake up too early, you sound groggy. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, so... What else have I been doing recently? I've been, well, I did cover for 41 minutes a spotlight of a Steam game called How Do You Do It? Which was a nightmare of a game. It was a ter terrible game, which we knew already going in. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to use my recording software the right way, so I recorded it in its proper resolution so it is at, at my resolution so basically its resolution is just a tiny little screen in the top left corner and then the rest of it is just blackness to fill it out to 1080p and so we I've since figured out how to do that but I can't go back in time and fix it because I just don't have that ability. And I recorded 41 minutes on this terrible game that literally only takes 3 minutes to play through it. And it's, uh, it's somewhat of a sexual nature, nature so... Job uh, done. We're doing all kinds of experiments. On, uh, we're experimenting on um, how my audience will react to me covering bad games, how my audience will re react to me covering uh, really, really short Quickly. games, how my audience will react to me covering a game with a sexual theme. Um, So much comments I'd like to get from that, and 
think one of the biggest comments I'll get from it is just people not willing to watch it at all or uh My seal it to the for end. Argon. Which is a comment in itself. Low. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna win this. But I'm sorry. So yeah, I released this video right after I ex did the experimental wheels on the bus video, which is just the worst timing ever. But I I put a as big a warning in it as I could at the beginning and tried to steer the it towards being only age appropriate people watching the video so what else could I really have done um, shouldn't have gone 41 minutes <laughs> certainly shouldn't have messed up with the video uh, being in the top Rexa left corner versus troll uh, for doomhammer very Let's possibly should have be done the video at all <laughs> but it was either due from my mind, it was either do this game, or it was to go find a, like, first person shooter, zombie filled piece of trash Steam game that was free. Um, I can spotlight and do games that are free all day. If I, I can't just turn around and spotlight and do games that cost money, even if they're just like 99 cents. Um, that, that stuff just adds up. It adds up real fast. And you're, you're talking a game that I'm not going to enjoy playing, almost certainly. If people want to friend me on Steam and send me 99 cent piece of trash games, I could do a spotlight on it. Th there's oh also no, some experiment oh there. This is... This game... Um... Is one, is one I'm risking the whole channel on, too. Because... Uh... Because... I just am. I mean, I didn't do the... I, I'm not sure. Since it was made by a gamer jam, I think I can report on it and show it off. But I don't know if that would stand up, really. I don't know if anything they could claim would be copyrighted. Ah. But it could be. Job done. So we... we get right back into the whole copyright issue um, because I'm reviewing and reporting on a on a game so that's a very dangerous path for me to start down and if I'm just gonna spotlight little steam games we must cleanse the sun well not worth my time it takes a good amount of time to go find out who is who is the owner, who is the publisher, uh, which one of them really has, if not both, which which one of them has the ability and the rights to say you have permission uh, to film it. I have recently gotten permission for a new game I for Half a Minute Hero. It's not going to be as fast as, as I got the permission. This is the problem with doing this on, on Twitter, is that uh, I'll make it my next series, but I'm in the middle of two new series at the moment. We're doing Plague Inc. Evolved, and we're doing uh, Bastion. So, until I finish one of those series, I can't even... I'm not willing to make a fourth slot for a new game. 
which is not even an old game. Yeah, Plan 2 is not a new game. Um, so, unlike the Tell Us Principle, where I did kind of make a four slot for a new game, I'm not wanting to do it for an old game because that was just a lot of work. Um, and so I'll record it, and it'll be my next series out after these two, but I haven't even yet, as far as... Uh, you've got three whole different timelines here. You have the timeline of the videos that were released today are still FTL and the Binding of Isaac. The videos that will be released... I hunt alone. Probably a month from now... Don't will be into Plague Inc. and Bastion and the videos that I'll uh, release like two months or more uh, later will be the whatever next series I am and right now I'm still recording Plague Inc. and Bastion but it's not it doesn't feel like they're gonna go on forever uh, which is fine. It's fine for me if we do series and the series is faster than what FTL took and what um, and Binding of Isaac took. Uh, haven't gotten back and recorded any new Binding of Isaacs or anything, but I might at some point. My Minecraft videos, when I look at the they are some of the most uh, viewed ones, so I need to probably to get more views and do more Minecraft I mean, not Minecraft, Minecraft, sorry. Oh. Handle it! So, uh, can I make a whole series out of Minecraft? I don't think I can. It's not going to be very fun if you do, if I do. Uh, one thing that's also happening with these new series is they are getting shorter. It's just how the game breaks up, really. That we're ending up with like 15 minute episodes. Which... Probably a lot of people might appreciate it. Yeah, I think people might might appreciate shorter episodes. Uh, still really haven't gotten any subscribers. That uh, I have three and none of them are really watching every single episode. I Which, or even watching a lot of episodes. So, I haven't gotten any, uh, as of this recording, anybody that's a real fan, as it were. And that's we really what I need. I need the a sun well. I need people to be willing to go on a journey with me. Otherwise, I'm just kind of spitting into the wind. If that's the right term to use in here. Oh. Yelling, talking to nobody. Which would be, I guess, But yeah, once I get that, some real fans, I can start catering better. I can take their comments. I can t look at how they are really sticking with the series and where they're falling off and where they're uh, watching and all that and I just haven't accomplished that yet and I don't know what I'm doing I know it's a lot of it has to do with Rexa just everybody's competing Gulda. for everybody's time your soul shall be mine but it's let the hunt begin it's a little dis uh, disconcerting. How, how do I have a good audience retention? 
great. And the views are going up. Everything's going up. It's just, it's just Job not done. there that yet. That's the sad truth of it. It needs needs to go higher. I need more views. I the need light more protects me. people to subscribe. Like one subscriber that actually would just watch one of my series would make a significant change in the a significant improvement on just the number of views, the number of um, the number of yeah, just the number of views that I have. So don't think it's just a situation where one person can't change anything. Right now, one person can change something drastically. One person commenting, play this game, and I'll watch them all, potentially might push me to play that game, if I can. Job done. Maybe I'm too... Too... Maybe I'm too boring. I don't know. Um, I've hit a lot of topics multiple, multiple times at this point, and I'll, I'll, it will just be standard practice, pretty much, that I'll keep possibly saying the same things, uh, not getting the interaction, so I can't really talk about anything else. I can talk about what I've seen in the news. We are right now um, around the time where like Leonard Nimoy passed away, uh, but I really don't have a lot to st say about him because um, the truth of the matter is, as far as I'm concerned, he lived a good life and he died at a, a ripe old age. So it's not, it's not really like a tragic loss. It, he was it, at 80 or 82 or however old. Put this apple on your head. I think he, he's somewhere between 80 or 82. That's what I heard. Um, uh, he could have, he probably would have only gotten worse in his health and been miserable if he'd lived longer. Not that I don't want him to die or have anything against him, it's just that sounds like a good time to die. Now, I will say, and he, even he said, according to what I heard, that he wished he hadn't smoked as much because that's what he basically died of was smoking. Don't he done. had COPD. Um, so don't smoke, kids. That's biggest message you can learn. If it can kill Spock, it'll kill you too. Uh, then there was this whole ridiculousness of llamas running around that everybody on Twitter was talking about. And then there was this whole ridiculousness of a very poorly photographed dress that half the people in the world were seeing black and blue dress and half the people in the world were seeing a white and gold dress. And people were arguing about it quite a lot. Like any of it mattered. I hunt alone. Job done. But that is about all the news I have. Uh, Valve's released their open source t Source 2. So they've announced Source 2 for Half-Life and Portal production if they would Your ever. magic shall not stay to actually make those games. And then they've introduced a virtual reality headset and shown that off, and uh, that, that was about all. Steam machines are coming, 
I looked at the prices of steam machines, they seemed wildly bad. Like some steam machines could be start at like four hundred dollars and then some steam machines can start at uh eighteen hundred dollars which immediately goes to show in my mind the problem with steam machines it it really doesn't make the amount of sense it needs to For master! Uh, the problem with the steam machines and all of that is they're going to be such varied machines that people are going to get such a very varied uh, experience. You can't just take a $500 computer, which really isn't designed for gaming, and even if you take a 500 dollar computer and put a game video graphics card in there and still somehow keep it under 500 dollars it's not going to be the same experience as a 2000 dollar computer and they all started that one you said uh oh i want a second third fourth video card for sli so i can do higher resolution or oh i want more ram or oh i want an ssd or bigger SSD. All of that's gonna come back and change everything. Salam. Is he gonna be able to defeat me on this turn? I think this is our fifth game. And we've done, we haven't accomplished anything, which stinks. As he realizes he can't win. If I can get anything in charge. Actually, I think this will work. We hit you the die. Face. This to the face. So I'm gonna try and start wrapping up episodes earlier. That's the end of this episode. We, I think we did five games, we got one victory. Next episode we'll work on the other stuff over here. Let's see. Now he's starting this a little bit more. We're gonna work on Priest and Warlock. But that's the end of this one. So as always I ask you to like. Please share this with all your friends. Hit that thumbs up to like the video. Share this video with all your friends. Subscribe to my channel. Even if you don't intend to watch anymore, just subscribe. What's it matter to you? Uh, and watch every second of my videos. When you do watch a video, please watch all of it. That will help me. Actually, it turns out you can even watch it and go back and rewind and watch it again. And go back and rewind and watch it again. And YouTube will even count that. So I can have actually a 300% or higher view ratio which is something new I, I've been trying to learn uh, if you want to support me through fan funding I you click on my name right or that takes you to my main YouTube page that's where you can subscribe on the right there is a but blue button that says support this channel any amount you donate will be appreciated also if you click on the about page on my main YouTube that'll take you to the blue button too that says support this channel page also, if you are watching on a cell phone and you click the about uh, page on when you click on my name, that's where you can click the support button on the cell phone. So it's all over the place. Uh, as long as you look. Uh, 
if you want to follow me on Twitter or or Google Plus uh, or Steam or Battle.net, all of that information is down below. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm not giving enough information or making it clear enough to follow me on those things. I really do need people to to teach me how to use Twitter and Google Plus, really, and how they want me to use it. Because I've only kind of retweeted a couple of things, and I really haven't done anything on Google Plus. Um, I need more people to put me in circles on Google Plus. If you have a Gmail account, you do have a, a Google Plus account, and that's fine. Just stick me in a circle, and then that will help me get a custom short shortened URL. Because right now that link is really long and really ugly. Um, as far as Twitter, I'm falling down the Twitter hole of I've selected a lot of people to follow so you can see who I'm following and give you some references and um, now I'm working on the process of like muting those people so they don't show up in my newsfeed. I, I'm getting down to the point where I could check Twitter constantly and just always have a new tweet always have a new tweet and I don't want to spend my own time on that that would mean less recordings for you and I don't really know how to use it appropriately as a video producer uh, there are on Google Plus and Twitter my automated things that are announcing when the new videos are coming out is that the only thing I should do or should I occasionally talk uh, if people want follow me on Twitter and, and direct questions to me or mention me, I can respond to those, I think. I'm so new to Twitter. And I can definitely engage with the audience a lot more. I mean, if you just want advice or help on your homework, I, I can help you fail a, fail a grade <laughs> or whatever. I, but I, I can respond to questions, sure. But is that what people want, or do they just want me to stay as the Twitter feed tells you when there's new videos? Um, I am going back and liking all of my videos because A, I should like my own videos, and B, it puts something in Twitter to have kind of push those old videos, say, give it, give it another chance. I, I'm going to put all of my series... So Hearthstone, up to the point where Bastion and FTL both end, which those will be slightly different days. After that, all those episodes are going to go into one I'm going to call Series 1. We're going with kind of the BBC style of series, where it's going to be a series and not a season, because it may not be one of the four seasons of the, of the world. And... So I'm going to put all those episodes and get them nice and organized and then uh, start a Series 2 playlist and that'll be the place where if people don't want to watch FTL or Binding of Isaac or Hearthstone that's really, really old, I will start putting the new episodes there. Everything will still be in the Everything playlist though. So if you're just caught up on the Everything playlist and you want to go scroll down to the very bottom that's that's fine too and if you just want to watch each individual game there will be an individual playlist for play again cabal there will be an individual playlist for bastion and there will still be an individual playlist for hearthstone now on hearthstone in particular there's always this argument oh man this is going long we'll talk about it in the next episode about the argument as how 50 episodes is too many it might as well be 5,000 uh, but I was wrapping up this episode and now I've gotten into a very long conversation um, we're done thank you for watching have a good evening